Okay, here we are back in DaVinci Resolve. And in today's video, we'll have a quick look at how to stretch the fusion effects. So let's go into the effects library and find a fusion title we want to use. Uh, there's a lot of fusion titles, but let's just take this one and drag that onto our clip. And as you see here, we try to scrub through it. Uh, it is a five second clip and it's actually very short for a a lower third, I think. So we can in make it longer by just dragging the clip to the end of our clip. So now it's about 10 seconds. Great. Okay, so with that clip selected, we'll go to the Fusion tab and just push down the middle mouse button and rearrange our notes. And then I'll choose the note and I'll go up to the keyframes. And in the keyframes, I'll open here. And here we can see all the keyframes which is in this animation. So let's um, change that up. First, we'll take the plain text here and um, I'll go down here and I'll push the time stretch and I'll push down control on PC or command on Mac and I will draw a, sh a box shape. And then you can either make it the animation faster or, or slower. I don't want to do that. So I'll just drag it out the animation to the end of our time timeline here. Okay, that was the first one. So we'll go to the second one. And the procedure is exactly the same. Once again, I'll go down and choose time stretch and pushing control and then making a squared box around the animation and then drag it to the end of the clip. And then we'll just do it for the last one which is the, the ground plane. Uh, again, time stretch, control, make a box and drag it to the end of the clip. So, oops, oh, there we go. To the end of the clip, just like that. And then we'll just go back to the editing tab and here we can have a quick look at how that actually looked. So as you see, now the effect has become a little bit longer. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.